Hey everybody, this is Alex Merced, developer advocate dreaming. This is gonna be the final video in this hands-on intro to Iceberg. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this series. It just kind of got you used to sort of like just dabbling with Iceberg and Express, I mean, in Spark and Dremio. And um, bottom line is a couple things I just kind of want to make sure you guys know is that, again, we do have a upcoming O'Reilly book called Apache Iceberg, The Definitive Guide. I'm one of the co-authors. Uh, you can get an early release copy by heading over to dremio.com. So if you head over to dremio.com, okay, you can get that by just kind of clicking right over there. You can just get a free copy of the book. Okay, so check that out. Um, but last thing I wanted to show you guys is just like, there's a cool feature in Dremio called reflections. It's really powerful. So the bottom line is you would use this when you feel that a particular data set isn't getting the performance exact meeting your SLAs in Dremio and you just want to kind of give it a little bit more oomph. Okay. It depends on the use case. Okay. So on any data set, you can turn this on and actually the way you would do that is you would click on, okay. Open with details panel. Okay, and then we're going to click on this over here. And it's going to open up this screen right here. Um, and basically, you're going to see the section called Reflections. Okay, and I just want to walk through what this is. Because it isn't this, this isn't just for Iceberg. It's more of a feature that is backed by Iceberg. So, for example, uh, use cases for this. So, imagine that you actually have a couple databases connected to this. Like, you have a MongoDB database and a MySQL database. And you're joining a data set between the two. What's going to happen is that Dremio is going to push down the initial get of the data to a query down to MongoDB into MySQL. Depending on what their performance is on your particular hardware for that, where you're running that software, you might run into latency issues. And then the join has to then occur. And then, you know, you would then create the eventual view of the data. Uh, but that can, you know, you may want to speed that up. So maybe what you can do is you can turn on raw reflections. And when you turn on raw reflections by clicking here and then clicking save, what it's going to do is actually create an iceberg version of the result. So the result of that join will be turned into this iceberg data set that can be used to accelerate that join and any additional views created from that join. Okay, so it's kind of like, but the thing is that the end user doesn't even need to know that you're doing that. They're just gonna think that they're joining the two tables and they're just gonna be benefiting from that acceleration and it will be automatically kind of kept in sync. And the cool thing is you can actually uh, fine tune it. So if you click here on advanced, that raw reflection, not only can I create that raw reflection where it creates a, a iceberg version of that result set, I can choose how it's sorted and partitioned. So that way that particular that particular materialization is gonna be sorted and partitioned to the um, best way possible. And the cool thing is, um, if you, you know, in the newest versions of Dremio, you can actually like even use like uh, iceberg partition transforms like truncate and whatnot to actually kind of manipulate these partitioning schemes. So I can actually like sit here, create that join, and let's say I want to partition by like country of origin code, I can just click this, and the the table itself may not be partitioned by origin of country of origin code, but the reflection will be. And that reflection will be what's used to actually run the queries um, and giving you much more performant queries. Okay, without you having to create a bunch of copies of the table that you have to maintain and keep in sync, these reflections are kind of kept in sync for you. Okay, going back to like the main screen for reflections. Okay, so let me click remove here. Let's go revert. Okay. Now if I go back to the main reflection screen, there's also aggregate reflections. So maybe you're talking about a BI dashboard use case where basically you want all these aggregate measures to be, come, to be brought up quick so that we can have really fast BI board without having to do like extracts and do all this like funky machinations where you create little sub copies and caches to, to speed up your BI dashboards. What you can do here is you can choose, hey, what kind of measures are and dimensions you are optimizing for. And it's going to create a reflection so that way anytime you're running aggregate queries on that, which is what's happening when you're doing BI dashboards, and it's going to speed up those queries. Okay, and again, all of this is done through Iceberg behind the scenes. So it just gives you another really cool use case of how Iceberg is used to speed up your day-to-day -day queries um, and why Iceberg is such an amazing technology. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Again, my name is Alex Merced from Dremio. Okay, again, do check out that Apache Iceberg 101 article because there's a link to so many other great pieces of content there that you can enjoy. And uh, I'll see you all later.